Hi, I'm Chris Rizzo. I'm a senior medical director with Santa Fe Vaccines. I am a general pediatrician and I've lived in Northeast Ohio my entire life. I was in general pediatric practice for uh, almost 20 years before coming over to work in the pharmaceutical industry in 2007. And since then, I've been working on helping prevent RSV in babies. RSV is a respiratory viral infection. Almost all babies will get an RSV infection by the time they're two. Now, usually it's just a bad cold, but one in seven babies will actually develop an RSV lung infection that results in a doctor's visit, or ur urgent care, emergency room, or, or end up being hospitalized. RSV is the number one reason babies are hospitalized in the U.S. And in some months, RSV accounts for half of all babies' admissions. So, for example, in, in the heart of the winter, and about half of all babies that get admitted to the hospital are admitted because of RSV. But my story with RSV begins before I was a pediatrician. My, I'm the oldest of five children, and my brother was hospitalized as a baby uh, due to bronchiolitis which is a lung infection uh, most commonly caused by RSV. And I was in first or second grade, and I remember my mother, you know, being at the hospital and then coming home and being so worried and crying. And even after my brother came home, she was worried about him. She treated him differently. And really, to this day, um, he was treated differently because parents, after going through that with their baby and seeing their baby working hard to breathe, changes the way you parents view their children for the rest of their lives. The, the hardest part of my job as a pediatrician, and believe me, it's much harder on the parents, was to, was to explain to parents that there's not much that we can do. No parent should have to stand by helplessly and watch their baby struggling to breathe. If you have questions about RSV in babies, please talk to your pediatrician.